Hi all, it's Owen on the 1st of April. Here again with another short prayer and reflection. I invite you to close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And let your breath flow out with a long, slow sigh. Give yourself the gift of stillness. It's God's breath that fills our lungs. And it is in God that we live and move and have our being. So we remember that we're in God's presence now and for all time. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and the great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. On these two laws hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us and write both these thy laws on our hearts. We beseech you, O Lord. Join me in saying together a portion of Psalm 128. Happy is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. You shall eat the fruit of the labor of your hands. You shall be happy and it shall go well with you. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. May you see your children's children. Peace be upon Israel. Good news according to Mark. People were bringing little children to see Jesus in order that he might touch them. The disciples spoke sternly to them. But when Jesus saw this, he was indignant and said to them, Let the little children come to me. Do not stop them, for it is such as these that the kingdom of God belongs. Truly, I tell you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God as a little child will never enter it. And he locked, took them up in his arms, laid his hands upon them, and bless them, the gospel of Christ. The passage from the gospel of Mark is a very familiar one. I can remember singing songs about suffer the little children to come on to, on to me. It's, a, it's, it's such a, a critical one to remember as a follower of Jesus. The call to be like a child. The call to be childlike in our way of seeing things. Open, open to new ways of learning, open to new interpretations, always being able to accept the new. I think in this time, we're challenged in many ways in terms of what our concept of God is. <coughs> the days of, of separation and the seemingly unwilling or un overwhelming statistics as the virus spreads are uh, enough to shatter many of our preconceived notions about God. I invite you as as these challenges come to remember that our faith is not called to be rigid, to be open to new understandings of God and new understandings of what is meant by God's grace. We're called to once again be like children and come unto God with open hearts, open minds, 
Amen. And we'll come together in a short time of prayer. I invite you to once again close your eyes, take a deep breath in through your nose, and release with a long, slow sigh. And bring all your awareness just to your breath. Feel the breath flowing in and flowing out. Feel the most basic gift of life, our breath. And as your breath flows in, accept it as a gift. And as your breath flows out, surrender the gift back to God, trusting that the next breath, the next gift will flow in. As you breathe in, saying thank you for this life. As you breathe out, saying your will be done. Inhale, thank you for this life. Exhale, praying your will be done. I invite you to call into your mind all those for whom you wish prayer. And add your name to that list. Now as Jesus taught us, we pray, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. I bid you peace.